Welcome on back, you guys. Another episode of Hell. Oh. No, Father's Day. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Father's Day. And we are on Act 6. Act 6 right now. And I gotta go this way, I guess. <laughs> Laughing, Phil. Is Phil the clown? Oh no. Hi, what's your name? Aren't you here with your parents? My name is Peter. I'm on holiday with Dad. You, your dad lost you. He asked me to come find a boy with dark hair whose name is Peter. Come on, I'll take you to him. Good. A few hours later... Heck, how'd we end up back here? Well, the boy's up there. Need to feed my new friend. Are we a clown? <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> I'm hungry, too. I am the clown. He just took his nose off. I'm going to sleep now. So we're the clown. So Jonathan's the clown? A few days later. News time. The police are looking for a boy, 10 years old. Name's JJ. Police officers and volunteers were sent to search for him. Act 7. Darkness comes out. Oh, great. Here's the start of my heart attacks. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Pill. Bastard. Fucked up. A lot of red around here. Clown. Guilty. So Phil's the clown? Not Jonathan. Maybe it's Phil. Flashlight doesn't work. Well, then why did I even pick it up? I don't see anything. Let's go over here. Father's Day. Okay. Oh, 
What the hell was that? For my son. Ethan, I'm sorry it's all my fault. Your mom asked me not to drive. I didn't listen to her. You know how I want to get it all back. I would do anything for that because of my job. I didn't pay attention to you at all and was a bad father and husband. I wanted to fix it, but I only made it worse. I took you away from each other. I'm so sorry I have to fix it. My dear son, we'll be together, Ethan. Watch Father's Day. I want to sit in a chair. So Phil must be the clown. Act 8. Don't leave me alive. Battery on the camera is dead. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Well, we're going to need that automatic. Oh, there's a key there too. Is that it? Right? Oh, jeez. Hi, Jester. How are you? Get in there. Screwdriver. Grab this? No. Oh, there's the screwdriver. Need a key. Well, we ain't going past the steam and burn ourselves alive. <laughs> I guess we go back. Uh... All right. Now we can go. Sludge hammer. Hell yeah. How's that? That's nothing. Can't go in there. I'm going to guess this is going to need sledgehammered. Oh, jeez.
Welcome to the underground lair. Shit. Here you will need a stepladder to climb. There's keys. Now I can open the box in the pantry. At least everything is pretty straightforward with this game. That's what I like about their games. It's scary as shit, but it's straightforward for the most part. I hate it when you have horror games that you have to sit there and try to figure out and spend hours on end. Oh my god. that for pipes or something oh jesus You still can't get in here. There wasn't any pipes in that hall, was there? I don't think there was. So far, every time we see something, kind of creature or something or person that goes in that direction, you're supposed to go that way. So I'm going to... Go this way and see what happens. Okay, so it's not this way. So whatever it is, is in that little area. There's something in that room. Making sure we're not missing anything. Because we don't have very much to go by. I mean, there's only... Uh, these two rooms. So, wherever it is, is one of these ones. We don't got to turn that again.
There's our ladder. So now we'll go back. Maybe those metal bars go for the uh, door on the top of this, like the roof uh, door. Alrighty. Don't get caught by Phil. Phil? What the fuck you mean don't get caught by Phil? What are you talking about? Need to take a flashlight with us. Oh, that's Phil. <laughs> so we can't turn the flashlight on. Need a coin. He's just standing right there. Like, how are we supposed to move anywhere? Gotta run around this side over here. Get the lead out, motherfucker. not enough details oh man so So can you hear us fast walk? None of that opens. What's this? Ooh, money. Shit. Gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Go, go. What's this? It's locked. I can't open it. I can open it with a sharp object.
No, it's stopping. We can make it back over the pot machine. Holy crap, man. So I'm going to guess that we have to use a coin here. That's a wrench. It will fit the slot machine. Okay, so we need to get back to the slot machine now. Which is over there. Where he's at. Not enough details. I thought this was a slot machine. Hey, okay. what other machine? Oh boy. Um Is there something way over there? wonder if it's one over there. No, it's not. Hmm. There's a woman over there. Here. We're going to have to make our way across here. these take off do they know it's 
Something shiny over there. I can see it. Okay. Let's go, 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 go. It's time to go play on the slot machine. He's right there. This isn't the slot machine, is it? Last time I heard this was a carousel, not a fucking slot machine. Um, let's go back over here. I go. All right, time to go back to the basement. Oh my god. Jesus. Scared the crap right out of me. I knew something was going to happen. I knew it. I was like, it seems a little bit, you know, a little bit of action. Where's the jump scare? just happened. <laughs> I guess we're supposed to be doing something. <laughs> as soon as that thing comes, we need to turn around and run. That was actually an achievement for dying. Like, what the heck? And I had to do everything myself. Phil didn't talk to me, and I decided to take care of Peter myself. Brought friends for him. Brought food and toys without taking off your outfit because children love clowns.
Something behind this door? Going in. Little boy in a cage. Hey man, calm down and I'll help you out. Yeah, we'll help you out. We'll help you out of there, Junior. Don't worry. Where is the key at? Can't use that. And open that. Oh. I found the boy, Peter. He was alone in the room. Peter told me that there were two more children. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find JJ. Phil hid information about where he hid them. Maybe I should try again. I'm not sure. I'm sure I can find them. Oh, boy. Right now, it's not necessary. We are at an impasse again. Bill is not as simple as it seems. I have a suspicion that otherwise, let's leave it for now. We are starting the next system startup. Impazzi, impazzi, impazzi. I'm probably saying that we're completely wrong. <laughs> Anybody that knows me really well knows I suck at words. <laughs> Some places never let go. That boy, his name was Peter, was special. I would never hurt him. He was lonely like me. The man he called his father was a monster. I wanted to save him from this world. Are you starting to remember what you did? You remember what you did? A child has disappeared. His name is JJ, 10 years old. Blonde hair, height about 130 centimeters. Normal build. The family saw JJ for the last time in the morning when he went to play with his friends. If you have any information, contact the police department of your city. The flashlight doesn't work. It's always nice to grab a flashlight when it doesn't even work. A boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents. He was discovered in an abandoned hut outside the city near the park. According to the boy, he was kidnapped by a man dressed as a clown when he was on a holiday with his father.
My order has arrived. Pizza? What am I doing is not real. There is no time machine. But where is a reality in which everyone is happy? I'm confused. I can't take it anymore. I brought friends for him and brought a lot of toys and food. I wanted to be a real father to him. He shouldn't have felt bad and he was happy. I did everything for this. The other kids were misbehaving and I had to calm them down. I don't understand why they call me a maniac. Kids love the clowns. You've been silent for 20 years and you still think you're innocent. Show me where the children's bodies are hidden. Guilty. Holy shit. We have reached an Amhaze again, are starting another reboot of the system. I had to fix it. I'll tell you everything. Defendant Phil Harris was sentenced to death by electric chair for the abduction of murder of two children. He moved the bodies many times, trying to hide them. Eventually, they were found on the territory of the house. Harris buried them in the place where the van was standing. The third child was saved. During the investigation, the pilot project Golden Egg was involved. Thanks to him, we got recognition from Harris. In the Golden Egg was discovered that Phil Harris suffers from multiple personality disorder, his mind divided into two different people. The depressed Phil, who withdrew into himself thinking that he could prevent the death of his family and the dominant personality of the clown, who had not manifested himself since childhood. Since the clown controlled him in real life, I think the real Phil helped Jonathan find the place where the children were hidden. He couldn't fix a mistake, but he had to help those families. And that is it. That wasn't that bad. That was actually a pretty good horror game. But then again, like I said uh, in the last episode, these guys make a lot of great games. And I mean a lot of great games. I haven't played a game of theirs yet that I didn't like. So. That is the complete playthrough. I think I only missed one thing. There was a puzzle piece thing that I didn't all the pieces in so i think you gotta look around that whole house for all the puzzle pieces because that's the only thing i remember that i didn't do and it still just let us go through anyway but so that's probably an achievement i'm sure but um if you guys like emica games and you would like me to play more of these kind of games then by all means let me know down in the comments i own them all literally <laughs> I own them all, so if you'd like me to do playthroughs of them, I will more than graciously go through the playthroughs of every single one of their games here on this channel, and we can do that. So, who knows? There might be different ones coming here in the future. 
but that's that that is father's day thank you all for tuning in i greatly appreciate it if you're not subscribed hit that subscription button i play horror games and rpgs and simulator games on here um so yeah and then the link is down below for all my social medias my books and uh, if you want some discounts on um we're not done did not disconnect it from the system i'll find something to tell the police henry well i'm in this place again well i guess uh we're still going just when you thought it was over We're not done. Okay, we go this way now. I'm just watching the mannequins because like I played played horror games before where mannequins hold stuff in their hands. So I'm just watching. There's a kid up there. Oh no, not a train. I believe uh, Emika Games is game locked up. That's the one that's the train. There's a lot of a train on it. Henry crying. Huh, I wonder if this game goes into locked up then.
They're mine forever now. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, I wonder if this game goes into locked up then, because locked up you're on a train with clowns. So that leads me to believe that, but we might uh, do that at some point in time. But like I said before, this all happened a little bit. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button for me. I greatly appreciate it. And the links are all down below. And I will see you guys on another uh, series or video here on the channel. Have a good one. And I'm out of here.